Ways to Improve English for Call Center Applicants Are you scared to apply in call center because you're not fluent in the English language? Don't worry, I am here to guide you to improve your communication skills. Welcome to You Are Hired. My name is Harry, BPO employee for more than 15 years and helped over 5,000 employees to land their dream job. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel to get regular updates and to increase your chance to get hired in call center. It's not true that you need to be fluent in English for you to get hired in a call center. As long as you can talk basic English with neutral accent, you can definitely apply as a call center representative. Let me emphasize on the neutral accent. You don't need to sound like a New Yorker or acquire British accent before you get accepted. Call center companies still prefer applicants with neutral accents simply because they can be understood by everyone. Here are the exercises that you can do in order to enhance your communication skills. Number one, think in English. Number two, self-talk. Number three, retell a story in English. Number four, speech shadowing. Number five, use call center scripts. Number six, you have to practice, practice, and practice. Let's discuss them in detail, shall we? First is think in English. Thinking is like talking to yourself quietly. This is a huge step in improving your communication skills because you don't need to translate Filipino language to English. This can help you to respond to a conversation quickly. A good way to start is to think of things that you will do within the day or within the next hour and think of it in English. It can be house chores or simply things that you need to accomplish. It doesn't need to be perfect. It is more about getting out your thoughts in English with less and less effort. Examples, here are the things that I will do within the next hours. Magluluto ako ng almusal para sa aking mga anak. Papakainin ko ang aking alagang aso at ibon. Pupunta ako sa SM para bumili ng school supplies and grocery. Pupunta ako sa gym pag may oras pa para mag-exercise. Instead of thinking in the Filipino language, I will think in English. Here's what I'm gonna think. I will cook breakfast for my kids. I will feed my dog and birds later. I will go to SM to buy some school supplies and groceries. If I still have time, I will go to the gym to exercise. You have to commit in thinking in English every hour, every day, and I'm sure that you will see great improvement with your communication skills. Next, it's self-talk. If you have no one in your house that speaks English, the best way to practice is to talk to yourself. You can start practicing for your interview. I have created a video regarding call center interview, questions, and answer, and the link is in the description below. Try to answer the interview questions using your own words and personalize it based on your experience. Remember to talk loudly so you can really practice your facing, inflection, and your tone. You can also pick up a book and read a couple of pages out loud. This exercise might slow down your reading, but it will speed up your speaking skills. Try to record yourself, listen to the recording, and watch out for any wrong pronunciation. If it is possible, Ask for feedback from a friend or relative that speaks good English so you can get a little coaching. Next is retelling a story in English. Please watch English movies or read English books, newspapers, or articles. This will tremendously help you really learn English. After watching the movie or reading the book, try to retell the story using your own words. Try to summarize it and ask your audience if they understood it. If you have no one to tell a story, go back to tip number two, which is self-talk. Alternatively, you can choose different words to retell a simple story in English. Start from the basics, reading something like a fairy tale or a fable. Either way will be beneficial to your English communication skills. Next is speech shadowing. This technique is about imitation. When you watch a movie 
and series in Netflix or HBO or news in CNN, listen closely to how the hosts are delivering their lines and try to mimic how they talk. Try to copy their pronunciation, tone, inflection, and face. Here's a simple exercise that you can do. Choose your favorite video with subtitles. Make sure it is something you like watching because you will listen to it many times. Listen to the video once again and read the subtitles to get a good understanding of the general content and flow. While you're playing it again, complete the next step. Imitate the host sentence by sentence. Play, listen, pause, speak. Recording is optional. Copy the speech pattern as best as you can. Doing this consistently will improve your communication skills. Just make sure to pick videos with American or neutral accent. Next is using call center scripts. Learning call center scripts will give you an advantage, especially in the application process. Most of the call centers have mock call assessment to test the readiness of their applicants. I have created separate videos for mock call and mock call practice on my channel. After this video, please watch it as well as it will be beneficial for you. The links are on the description below. Here are the scripts that you can practice. Expressing appreciation. Thank you. Thank you for. I appreciate your. I am sincerely grateful for. Your feedback is valuable to us. Thank you for these recommendations. Apologizing to the customer. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Please let us make things right by resolving your issue today. Offering assistance. I'd be happy to help. It's my pleasure to be of assistance. I'm glad to be of service. I'm here to help. I would be delighted to help. Let's make things right. We'd be happy to make things better. Showing empathy. I'd feel the same way. I understand where you're coming from. That would frustrate me too. Confirming the request. Let me clarify and please correct me if I'm wrong. Let me confirm if I've got this right. I want to make sure I understood everything correctly. Please feel free to correct me if I've misunderstood anything. Wrapping up. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Please let me know if you have any other questions. And finally, you have to practice, practice, and practice. Knowing the five techniques I mentioned is not enough. If you want to push yourself to the next level, you seriously need to practice. Practice every day and practice consistently. Remember that you want to get hired as a call center representative and that you need to practice until you are ready. Here are other things that you can do. You can talk to a friend or stranger in English. You can facilitate a storytelling. You can join public speaking or debate. And do not forget to have fun while you learn. It's a wrap. Those are the techniques to improve your communication skills. I hope you learned from the tips I provided today. Thank you all for watching and I hope that you will get hired soon.